What's up, YouTube? This is another episode of ASAP Pet Info, coming at you with a pet room update. As for updates, I basically only have bad news, um, but I did get a new tank, so I guess that's good. Sorry about that light behind me. So I guess let's go ahead and get on to the update. So we'll start with, uh, stuff y'all have already seen. We got Poseidon here, of course. We always gotta start out with Poseidon. He's doing okay, I need to top off his tank tonight. But yeah, he's doing alright. Uh, up here we got all my ram cichlids, all of them are still alive and healthy. I have uh, figured out the gender of them. So, this uh, jubbly ram right here is a male. Uh, this German gold ram right here, I believe, should be female. And my Bolivian Ram is male. So please leave name suggestions down below for each of them. And I might pick some of y'all and whatever, I don't know. Um, so yeah, please leave some name suggestions. Uh, so I got a AquaClear 70 running on here as well as a... Uh, sponge filter for up to 30 gallons. I put all these plastic plants in here just so they can, not really they, more just him have some secu uh, more security because he is e extremely shy and I honestly don't know what's up. Move that fish food. Uh, this is basically where all the bad news starts is over here in the 20 gallon long planted tank. Uh, as you can see, for the most part, it looks fine, uh, but I had some deaths and some removals. Uh, the uh, removals were all the Ruminos Tetras. I'll get on to why I removed them in just a minute. Um, and the deaths were one of my Skunk Cory Catfish and two to three Auto Sinkless, like, one of... Like, I pulled two of them out today, but one of them is just downright missing. I, ha I can't find it, but there's one right there, and one right there in the plant you can kind of see, like, right there. Um, all the quarry catfish, other than that one skunk quarry catfish that died, are doing perfectly fine for now. And now I'll go ahead and get on to why the, uh... The Ruminos Tetras were removed. For one, they were kind of overstocking the tank because this tank, I'm going to be honest, I was kind of dumb and I decided I'm just going to get all the fish, get it done quickly, but the tank wasn't 100% done cycling, um, which kind of sucks, but um, that's... Yeah, but why, um, but the biggest reason why they were removed is because I think they actually killed, uh, the skunk quarry catfish. Whenever I pulled him out, he had, uh, nipped up fins and whatnot, and I don't really know. They, they just weren't, I don't know. But I didn't completely get rid of them. We'll go ahead and get on to the new tank. It's a 10-gallon tank. Uh, just came with the hood, got an Aquion Quiet Flow 20 running on it. Uh, these are all the Rummy Nose Tetras, and they're in with the crayfish. Basically, what's going to happen is uh, I honestly don't care what happens. If they die, I don't really mind. If they get eaten by the crayfish, don't really mind. If they're neutral, still don't really mind. But the only thing I wouldn't mind is if they started picking on the crayfish for some reason, or somehow they actually manage. And if they did that, they would have to deal with Poseidon here, which I don't think they want that. So the crayfish is in the cave, as he always is. Um, he's eating these uh, algae wafers. So everybody's doing okay. And another thing is the uh, Romanos Tetra never got their nose, like the red noses back. They just stayed like that. So I have no idea why, but, uh, yep, that's, uh, 
update for all the fish. Um, I got this empty 29, or not 29, 20 gallon long, which I'll be clearing out and buying some stuff for it, and I'll be taking those split fin live bears off of Dan Man as soon as I can. Uh, so let's go ahead and get on to the reptile update. Um, Alex looks like he's just chilling out in his little box. Uh, nothing, nothing changed in his tank. So he's just kind of chilling in there. Snapping turtle. Uh, water's really low and the water's really dirty. I'm doing a water change uh, either tonight or tomorrow morning. Uh, whichever one fits into my schedule. Um, so there he is. So, you know, basically all bad news for this update. But uh, basically, I don't know. I'm so used to caring for Poseidon, it just kind of, I'm not used to hearing smaller fish, and I sort of just completely forgot how to. Um, so it kind of sucks, but the rams seem to be doing perfectly fine, which is, uh, really good. So, um, basically, you know, that's basically the video. I got one more video coming out for y'all tonight. So, go check out other members of the aquatic, not aquatic support, um... Next Generation Pet Team, uh, leave links of course as usual to go click on some random videos and playlists and channels and whatever other good stuff that I decide to throw on there. Oh, here's an appearance for y'all. My female beta, uh, Megan is out. She's doing perfectly fine. She's probably the healthiest one in the tank. The only fish in here that I would have to say is doing as good if not better than her are probably the peppered quarry catfish so yeah comment rate subscribe respect the hobby respect the hobbyist and most importantly respect the fish i hope you enjoyed some, uh the video and peace out